What they've done is they've made a massive hall of mirrors where you're forced to see yourself from every single angle imaginable. Now, you might think they just reflect, but when there's a distortion that makes you feel like you're out of proportion, they also begin to direct. Because I doubt they've meant it, that if these images are all you ever see, then without some criticality, they become your reality and you begin to measure yourself against it. It's a source of real confusion. I think that's what's real, but you're the illusion. In the hall of mirrors, self-esteem can get cut with a pair of scissors, because all that matters is appearance. Not what's in us. And in some mirrors, you're too fat. In others, you've got a big nose. In more mirrors, still you might have bad hair, poor complexion and shit clothes. You see, they get people when they're young and they're trainable to think it's their duty to pursue images of beauty which are artificial, superficial, rarely attainable and never sustainable. So you get young girls, and it is more often girls, who can't abide by the idea of simply going outside looking like they do naturally. Nah. She's got to look like the girls that the media are feeding her, in the beauty magazines and on TV. And even if she manages it, you know, it won't remain, because the only thing that stays the same in the Hall of Mirrors is the constant state of change. And it's tragic, it puts millions of people in the predicament of desperately wanting to look different. Now, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I'll admit I've bought into this shit myself. I stopped trying to be a friend to it, though, since realising there'll never be any end to it. They'll always try and get us to buy more stuff, make us feel that who we are and what we have right now isn't good enough. Try and convince us that happiness is a, just around the corner if you buy a few more things that they've made for you. So people can spend ages and so much of their wages on stupid bullshit like fashion trends. Trading in the Mercedes Benz because it's more than two years old or spending hundreds of pounds on a watch made out of gold. That last purchase, it's unclear how it could ever be better than mine. I've had this for years, it cost me a tenner and one thing it does perfectly well is tell the time. <laughs> it's not just self-esteem that's on the line though. Because things can happen in the world and where people might have reacted, they're now distracted by a new type of bread with jam in or a new cream that gives you everything that your body lacks. So when the news comes on talking about famine and economic collapse, there are people who just aren't interested in that. And actually, it's understandable because the news reporter could even say, hey, this is real. These are the facts. It's not scene rehearsal. But when the news itself is sandwiched in between Burger King and Maybelline commercials, it can cause some serious confusion over which of this stuff is real and which is the illusion. In the transition, I think something's missing, because they go from people getting shot at to, do you want fries with that? In just a few seconds, is a ridiculous juxtaposition. And I can't help but find that something is getting undermined. Cheers.